Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and I wanted to get a video out for you guys on this week's Spider Bounty for Powerful Gear. This time we are going to be facing Gravetide Summoner. Every one of these has been different so far, and this one holds up. It is different than all the rest. Just in case you were wondering if it's always going to be a bubble or a shield of some kind. Kind of, but we'll get to that. Uh, but as you see the comment, never a dull moment, a Guardian from Sloan. This one is going to be on Titan. Now, the Lost Sector that I play this in may be a different Lost Sector depending on which day you do this. Uh, it does seem these things move around, so it could be the Lost Sector where I'm headed, which is near the uh, Hive Public Event. It could be where everyone farmed the crap out of the Faction Rallies, out on the rim, the North Rim of the Rig. Or it can be over here in Siren's Watch. Either way, principles will still work the same, you just will have maybe a different space to work in. That being said, let's show you how it works. So today depending on when you run this thing. We're going to head over here. Don't mind these few enemies. We're just going to run straight on by. And when you come in this door, we're going to the right. The public event is around that corner, but we're going to jump down here, activate our adventure, and get going. It took me a little while to find this Lost Sector because apparently I don't come in here often, but I feel like in, on Titan, there's just one Lost Sector we all do, and we all know which one it is. Head on down the stairs, and you'll start seeing a few enemies. Now, heads up on my build. Um, any base weapon here is going to be fine. I'm just using Tiger's Spite because it's high level for me. And also, I got one with Kill Clip, Dynamic Sway Reduction, Ricochet Rounds, Extended Barrel, and Range. Knock on wood, but this thing seems reasonable for now as a pretty high level weapon. Also, apparently the rolls are in my favor. I got one of the, what you would call, full masterworks. I don't know. It's the one where you can't pick the rolls. It's set for you. Box breathing, snapshot sights, full handling, steady rounds, compensated chamber. And this is the new, um, yeah, sniper from the Dreaming City. So I got both of those. Basically what I would say, you want something that's solar because you're going to have some wizards. The final boss is going to be solar so you can pop that shield down nice and quick. But you have a fair amount of arc. So if you want to flip this, say you run Whisper here, which is actually not a terrible idea for the ogre. But I'll get to that in a minute. Um... And you want to run Arc here for, say, something like Misfit I've got, or whatever. Um, Arc and Solar are your two. Void, not a whole lot of that in this this thing. So, sorry, feel like I should cover that as I head in. So once you peek around the corner, you're going to have your token dude of the week who is wanted and is almost dead, but not quite dead. So he will be over there doing his thing. Dude, things do die a little bit quicker now, as you can tell. I do a bit more damage to these guys. Oh, um, hi, Servitor. What's up, buddy? You just feel like appearing out of thin air? It's fine with me. You do you. Keep grabbing your ammo. Yeah, I'll do this thing. I'll get heavy ammo to drop for days. I'll do the Whisper mission, and I cannot buy heavy ammo if I had to, p to pay, like, Masterwork course for it. I could not get it in there. But I think that's just broken, so. Thank you guys again for the giant subscription boost we had this weekend. Um, my channel exploded. At least for me, it exploded. I literally jumped in subscriber count by like, oh, I don't know, 25%, which is absolutely bananas. So again, thank you guys for checking out that video, subscribing to it. You could like a video, but actually subscribing to the channel means a lot more to me, because that's a huge deal for me. So thank you guys very much for that. Working through killing some of these ads. I really wish that buzzing noise would go away. It's so annoying. Working through... Now again, remember my level, I'm about 540, so if you're doing this under level, stuff will hurt a little more, so just play cautious. Now, almost there. Alright, so, for me on this one, and everyone's going to be different, everyone knows the big Faction Rally Lost Sector. Um, that one is one big open space. I'm kind of not sure how that one's going to work. This one actually has a door, but the other one doesn't have a door, so maybe you'll get locked in or out or whatever. But, this door actually can open, and you can deal with some of these ads. Now you can deal with the Cursed Thrall before you tick off the Wizards, so I would probably kill everything you can out here before actually shooting the Wizards. Now, the way this works, you have Gravetide Summoner sitting in the middle, looking all fancy and shielded. Two basic Wizards, they go down quick from my Sniper. Box Breathing, thanks. Um, once you tick off the Wizards, they will actually summon a big Ogre. Now, the Ogre itself is going to have a boatload of health most of the time. Now, you could slowly pick it down by probably dumping through all of your ammo. That would take a while. What's going to happen at some point, and I don't know if you have to do enough damage to get them to appear, or they're just time-gated, 
There are regular Thrall that will be running around. They'll eventually run to you. And what they're going to have is like kind of a glowy buff to them. And when you kill them, you get a ogre basically damage buff. So 1x, 2x, 3x, depending on how many you kill and how close together. It lasts about 20 seconds. That is your point. You dump your damage on the ogre. You can hunt and peck at them, and we'll see how this thing goes time-wise. But that is the idea. You're going to get an ogre buff. And it does seem like you only get so many, or at least when the ogre's health gets low enough, they don't just keep spawning. So when you can do your damage chunks, do them as much as you can. So between Darcy pumping damage, I've got this sniper rifle. I've also got my hammer super. Be full offense in this one because you're likely to survive anyway. The other, the other thing is as I'm standing at this doorway, and again, some of these strikes may be different. If you're at the Lost Sector for... See, the door shuts. If you're at the Lost Sector on the rig, I can't even remember the one on the other side of this uh, map. But I've had knights literally just walk up behind me right here, just start smacking me. They have arc shields, hence why I have the arc sniper. Um, so be aware, they just come up every so often, uh, but they will be there. So explanation aside, let's get this thing going. Wait for box breathing, because this is just fun. And fire in the hole. There's one. Kill the wizard. Alright, Ogre, he's up. Now, he's not, not what I would call easy. If you have him in this lost sector, heads up, knights. This is what I'm talking about. So. And there's some ammo. So they're just going to do that occasionally, so be ready. If you don't go out the door, technically you can come and stay in this room. I don't know if it always allows you to do that, but we'll find out. So for now, I'm just going to try and pick some damage into him, see if I can annoy him a little bit. I'm not going to run out there because then that door shuts and it never, never opens again. And with that ogre in that room, that's a real tough measure. You guys see how much damage I'm putting in? Yeah, not, not taking much damage. Yeah, these guys are back. Now, if you do want to knock him out, that works as well. Um, I was saying not to do that. Oh, the explody barrels. Well, I wasn't that far in. Let's see how much I actually have to do. All right, let's just summon him again. That's not so bad. Look at me. Come on. Uh, I need to actually see the wizard. Thank you. Alright, so back to Ogre Fun, but you also have Night Fun. Now, before the world ends again, let's use this for my benefit for a change. Kill Clip for the win. Sup, sup, sup. Hi. They're actually big. And apparently there's a few guys from the previous part of the strike just hanging out. But, drop an ammo, I'll take it. So, peek back out, open door, fire at Ogre, and rinse and repeat for a little while. Now, again, I haven't quite figured out when the uh, big stuff starts coming in. Now, I did use some sniper ammo here just because it speeds this process up a smidge. Ow. They're big sword knights. They still do hurt a decent amount, by the way. And I'm still 540. So if you're going to put a ring around the rosy, do it quick and painful. Or just completely fail at your shield punch and try to dodge all their shots. Got some heavy, so I guess I may as well snipe them. Uh, is there another one sitting over here? Uh, I do not know. So this is where the fun part comes in of trying to do enough damage. Here's Thrall. Now, I don't know if they actually... There's the ones you're looking for. So we got one. We got two. So at this point... Oh, we're going to go 3x. We're definitely doing this. All right. Big boy damage time. Now, unfortunately, these knights want to ruin all of my fun. Holy crap, what's up, dude? Alright, so I still I have four seconds, which is a giant bummer. So, that's no fun. Knights ruining my fun, jerks. Alright, back to the fun part. Hunt, peck, wait for... Uh... So, I mean, that was just like three or four shots. So, again, I don't know if like shooting him will spawn them, or waiting for the ads to spawn, or just being annoying to the ogre. But watch your radar. They come back a lot. I don't know why they despawned. That is really weird. They're all coming. They're all coming. They're all coming. And then more. They're all coming. So let them come to you. 
watch behind you. Yeah, I want these guys down first. So I want all these guys to die together. I want that Ogre's Fury. You kind of have to stack them. Should potentially be one more. There we go. Now we got the full 20 seconds. I can't see you, buddy. Where you at? You're hiding real good back there. Good old Darcy pumps out some damage, though. And the knights are back to ruin my fun. Excuse you. Thanks. Shields are down. One. Just turning him into vapor. That's cute. And back to it again. So, now I'm not saying the other lost sectors will be this way. As I said, you could have a different experience. This one with the door seems to be safer. I got stuck out there in my previous attempt. That was less fun. I can promise you that was not as fun. So these guys are coming. Take out the normal thrall. Don't shoot the other ones. We have our fun boys here. One down. Ow. All right, grab your ammo, grab your fun. And let's get these guys down. So we got one. Somewhere back here. Two. And three. I said three. Can't aim. That's totally fine. You can at least tag him quick. This sniper is kind of insane how fast it can fire. And sword guys are back. Don't kill me. Not this far. Grenade. And again, stay hard to get. There you go. All right. Same principle. Apparently we got a knight over here now. So the farther you get into the damage on the ogre, the more this fight will actually change up. So just be aware of that. If you have any ammo back here, maybe run and grab it. Depends on what dropped, what didn't. I did actually get some heavy. Random guys back here dropping me ammo. I'm not going to argue. Probably also gives me a little space to deal with the big old knights again. Well, this is your principal, at least. Are these guys just outside the door? Oh, hi. Oh, my God. That's a lot of thrall. Remember, they will still overrun you. Especially when the knights feel like coming up behind. All right. Can I put this little fun, fun combo together? That's what I was going for. I love that. Love when things work as intended. There's one. Give me that thrall. Come on. There you go. Now, let me see the ogre. Still hiding in your little corner, huh? Would you just move already? Oh, come on. Keep it going. There we go. Let's finish him off. Nope, let's not. And let's say I'm stuck in a corner, going to die by sword. Oh, that was close. All right, I'm not messing with you guys right now. I'm this close, I'm not dying. All right, well, Ogre's Fury wasted. Now, if you don't go out into the room... Oh, Shrieker's up. Shrieker's down. Snipers are beneficial. This dude on the left is just annoying me now. Can you just not be awesome? Now, once you get that boss to a certain health, uh, he will roam, just straight up roam. Now, that will usually take care of one. The other one seems to be uh, a bit more resilient. There we go. Never said soloing this would be easy. Ah, this crap again. Just blind them all. Hey, I'll take heavy ammo. I should have saved the curse thrall. Damn. Because I know they're back. Yep, here they come. Literally one shot will drop them. I'm decent on heavy. Let me see if I can just finish off the ogre. If I can look at him, that would be good. Ogre. Sup, ogre. Now the wizard will start firing once you get this guy so low. Just because he's like, oh, I fear for my life now. Well, time to put in some work, ogre. And these guys are back. And, of course, I'm not quite ready. Quick. 
quick snipes. Yeah, ammo drops like crazy right now when I'm just stuck in a room. Oh, that's just not optimal. I'm sorry, I've listened to too many of Jez's videos talking about DPS and Datto. Optimal just came out. I It just happened. Can you really... I only do this because I know these guys are coming. Ring around the rosy. Pocket full of posy. Ashes, ashes. Hammer in the face. There we go. Alright, can I just finish this? You guys get the idea. I know you do, so... Just one good shot. That's see all you need. Now, Wizard should go down fairly quickly. Solar Sniper, or even Darcy, depending on what's still alive in this room. If it's a knight, well, knight can die quickly. Use your cover. Hopefully nothing else spawns. And looks like you got a shield back. And let's see if we can finish this. Talk about taking one for the team. That thrall just ate a Darcy shot for the Gravetide Summoner. There you go. Lost Sector Bounties. Apparently, I got a Triumph. But that is it, guys. That is the Gravetide Summoner. Let me see if I can do this and not die. One more Explody Barrel almost ruined my day. There we go. Well, hopefully this guide helps you guys out. Again, this can move Lost Sectors during each day. Uh, but your main thing is find a way to be able to pull back. Now, I did this being stuck in the room. See, now the door opens. If you walk in here, you can get stuck in this room. Basically, your only ideas are use this as cover. If you get stuck in here, use this as cover. And just make a circle around the back of the room. Use this as cover. And use this as cover. So you can do it, it's just a whole lot more hectic if you can find a place of the door or room. And maybe you're just on a different day. Wait a few days, there's only three Lost Sectors on, tit on Titan. Excuse me. Pretty small options. So you'll probably have this one a couple times this week. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like below. Always appreciated. Helps me out. Uh, leave a comment. Say, hey, got a question, comment about anything. You can follow me on Twitch or Twitter. But especially right here on YouTube, if you did enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button and I've got plenty more to do for you. So thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, also, thank all of you for the crazy support recently. It's been awesome. And on that note, I will see you soon in another video. I don't know what it will be, but it will be soon. Have a good one. Adios.